Well, hello, readers. This is Aura Virgunathan from the iGEM seminar team here at Lambert High School. And today, I'm going to be discussing you the topic of our Biotrix article, which involves detecting the amount and propensity of mast cell tumors in canines or dogs. So before we get started, I really want to talk about what mast cell tumors are. Mast cells are essentially a type of white blood cell that has the ability to grow out of any cells in the body, whether they could be skin cells, muscle tissue cells, and so on. Like any cells, they can malfunction in the cell division process, which causes them to divide rapidly and producing tumor growth, and eventually angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels. The cause of mast cell tumors in dogs is mostly unknown, and many are skeptical whether it's genetic or environmentally driven. One devastating statistic is that more than one-fifth of canids obtain a mast cell tumor at some point in their life. Our goal is to reduce the number by providing early detection methods and eventually early treatment methods that allow pet owners to diagnose and treat their dogs before the tumors become deadly. So what is our project focus? Our project focus is to utilize the Lambert iGEM competition team's miRNA biosensor system, which involves the use of RCA, FRET, and my, the microQ fluorescent quantification sensor. In RCA or rolling cycle amplification, the padlock probe is, utili is utilized to help amplify the miRNA, producing a rolling circle product. Then linear probes called quenchers and fluorophores are uh, bind together in a process called fluorescence resonance energy transfer or FRET to emit fluorescence. One important thing to understand is that the fluorescent output and the concentration of miRNA are inversely correlated meaning that an increase in concentration leads to a decrease in fluorescent output. This project is called the Lambert iGEM Catalog Project. So what is our proposed solution? We hope to detect such quantify the presence and propensity of mast cell tumors using miRNA biomarkers and Lambert iGEM combination team's procedures slash microQ sensors. Research shows that miRNAs are related to the presence of MCCs in candidates, and of the following list, the one that we hope to be using is uh, miRNA 215P. These miRNAs are involved in cell proliferation as well as metastasis pathways and can be used as a biomarker to identify increased risk of MCTs. What are our goals? First, we hope to contact veterinarians and veterinary oncologists to learn more about mast cell tumors. Next, we hope to integrate such experiment biosets and test the efficacy of the competition team's system and apply it to real life situations. Lastly, we hope to research ways to improve the system to tailor it more to the detection of mast cell tumors. Listed below are our procedures. First, we hope to extract miRNA from candidates. This process will most likely be done through the collection of saliva or blood, which will then be separated or filtered to obtain miRNA sequences. Next, we hope to execute the RCA slash FRET protocol. This requires our team to consult with the Lambert iGEM competition team to acquire the desired parts and obtain the most accurate results. Lastly, we hope to use an ultraviolet viewer or microQ to detect or quantify miRNA presence in the sample. This process requires us to use various methods to, uh, to measure the decrease in fluorescence, indicating the increase in concentration of miRNA in the sample. These results will then be analyzed and exported. All right, thank you guys for listening to this presentation. I hope you enjoy our article. If you have any questions, please contact you, and I hope to be able to get in touch with you soon. All right, thank you guys.